being able to import your question slides into Adobe Captivate is a real big time saver. And for the last number of versions, we've been able to do this with the GIFT file format. GIFT is the type of file used to import questions into the Moodle Learning Management System. And of course, now with Adobe Captivate 2019, this has been expanded to also include CSV files or comma separated value files. CSV files can be loaded into spreadsheet programs like uh, Microsoft Excel or Apple Numbers. Very easy to edit. Of course, it requires very little knowledge of any kind of syntax, but I'll take you through the basics so that you understand exactly what needs to be included in the file. Uh, each question is a row within the file. So you'll see here I've got a total of seven questions. The top row here is just a bunch of placeholders so that I can remember what is supposed to go in each column. So in this first column, we need to denote what type of question it is. And the types of questions available are TF for true false, MC for multiple choice, MAT for matching, FIB for fill in the blank, and SA for short answer. The next column is for the number of points. And then the following column after that is the question stem itself. So if we look at this first question, we can see here I'm asking who was the Prime Minister of Canada in 2017. I'm missing a question mark there. We'll put that in. And then, of course, I can put any number of answers in that I wish. I am looking for a single answer. And how I denote that is I use an asterisk at the beginning of that particular answer. So here I have four choices. The first one is the correct answer. This next example is a true-false question. Works the same way as multiple choice. I simply put an asterisk in front of either true or in front of false, depending on which situation is correct. I can also have multiple choice questions where there are multiple answers that are correct. And again, the same thing is true. You just simply put an asterisk in front of all the correct answers and leave them out on questions that are distractors or answers that are distractors. Also, too, you can expand on that and actually include um, advanced answer captions for a multiple choice question. And how you do that is right next to one of the answers, you simply denote the advanced answer caption by separating it with this horizontal line, also known as a pipe. Most keyboards will have this just above the enter key. The matching type question uses that same horizontal line to separate your first column from your second column. So Halifax goes with Nova Scotia, St. John's goes with Newfoundland and Labrador, Charlottetown goes with Prince Edward Island, etc. The next type of question, fill in the blank, also uses that same horizontal line to denote where the blank will be. In this case here, uh, the blank uh, is the first part of the sentence. Blank is the capital of Canada. And in the first answer column, you simply denote the correct answer by typing it in there. Short answer is very straightforward. You just simply ask the question in the question stem and put the correct answer in the first column. So let's minimize this. Actually, I'll save it first. Let's save this so it captures the changes that I've made and return now to Adobe Captivate 2019. You can import a CSV file a number of different ways. Uh, the first way is from the file dropdown menu. Go into the import submenu and select import CSV format file. Alternatively, you can press Shift Alt C if you like shortcut keys, and then simply select the file that you need there. Another way you can get that CSV file into your Captivate project is through the quiz drop down menu. And you'll see at the very bottom here import CSV format file. And again, we can just double click on that and it will import all of those questions that we just talked about. So real quickly, let's review what's come in. So there's my 
multiple choice single answer question, pretty straightforward. Uh, here's the example of the true false that came in. Again, true is the correct answer in this case here. Uh, in this example, we have a multiple choice with multiple correct answers. Uh, here we have, of course, the uh, multiple choice question where, in this case, the distractors have their own captions. They show up off to the side here, but if you're using a non-responsive type project like I am, it's really easy to align those with the other captions in this particular slide. Here's my matching question. So column one goes with column two. It's one to one, but you can actually select shuffle column one if you want to break it up a little bit and make it seem a bit more random. Uh, and then, of course, here's our fill in the blank. The, the word Ottawa will show up as blank and users will have to fill that in. And here's my short answer where I'm looking for the city that is the capital of the province of Ontario, which is Toronto. If you double click this, you'll see your correct answer there. And of course, you can add some alternative spellings if you don't want to mark someone incorrect for spelling inappropriately. But that's basically it. That's going to give you a nice, easy way to import your question slides if you're not a big fan of the GIFT file format and are looking for something even easier. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.